don't come. Oh my god, look at that face. You look like a ugly ass bitch. Ah! I'm the best demon hunter. No, I'm the best demon hunter. I'll stab my sword right up your what? Whoa, guys, guys, chill out. Look, why don't you just duke it out? A fight? Yeah. Show who's the best hunter. Then it's on! Fine, bitch. Alright then. Hey guys, what about me? FUCK, Fuck OFF! off! Jeez. What's going on Greek Squad? It's the Incredible Greek. Welcome back to another reaction video for the first time in a month. I've been away for too long. I'm sorry about that, but thank you guys very much for welcoming me back with open arms. So yeah, so here we go. Dante versus Bayonetta. Yo, know, when Devil May Cry first came out, I played the shit out of that game. I literally played the crap out of it. I completed every single mode, even Dante Must Die mode, okay? And then number two came out, and then number three came out, and then number four came out, and just like with every single one of them, I played the crap out of them. And I completed every single mode, every single hard mode there was. Yeah, so, you, so I think you can already guess who I want to win for this match, Dante. I've actually never played any of the uh, Bayonetta games. I've heard a lot of good things, but I just never got around to playing it. A lot of, I missed my chance to play any, any of the games. But I've read a lot about uh, Bayonetta, and um, I watched the first part of uh, Screw Attack's video, and they gave me a lot of good information. The two characters are so similar. This is why this is gonna be such a good matchup, because the two characters are so similar. You know, in terms of what they are, what they possess, they have, you know, they're both half and half something, right? They both use multiple weapons. They both slay demons. It's, they're so similar, uh, similar but yet they're, they're different as well. But they're similar, they're different, but it's just going to be absolutely off the chain. So what are we waiting for? Let's get to it. The reaction. Right, here we go. One, two, three. Ding, ding, ding. Dante. In a church. I'm so pleased to see that they're using good graphics on for this one. They had to do it this way. Wow. Blast? Nah. She has got a pair of legs that would go up to heaven. Jesus. Can give me a hand? Could be fun. Go on, go, go on, Dante. I see. But if you're looking for the left eye, that would either make you an angel. <laughs> Loving it already. Or a team. Half team. <laughs> oh my days, this is so wicked already. <laughs> I caught it. Oh. There you go, she draw that first weapon for, from her, you know, her arms. Whoa! Oh, she's time stop as well. Dante's got a similar move as well. He uses it. What a disappointing finish. It ain't over. That all you got, sister? 
<laughs> Gosh, she's got ah, ass. Looks like you're more of a man than I thought. Come on. <laughs> no touching. Shoot the, yeah, see that he can it with his own time stop move. What? Haven't used this in a while. Still got it. <laughs> <laughs> In the mud. It's a slow time on work on either of them. <laughs> You're a naughty boy hitting a girl like that. You need to be taught a lesson. I like the voice actors, they pick the voice as well. At least these are actually the voices. They sound similar. Now this is what I'm talking about. If you like that, you're gonna laugh. Oh, I love this so much! Oh, He just lets himself get in because he knows he'll be alright. Yeah, it's just. Your breath stinks! He's got. This is where we part ways, love. After you. Oh, Trish! Dante! John! He gets a little one-on-one -on -one with him. Oh, she's got a uh, spada. Come on, Trish. You missed. Oh, don't be a baby. Let's finish her off. Oh, come on. Jean, Cereza, having some guy trouble? Not to worry. Two-on-two match now, huh? Wait, we're getting paid for this one, right? Come on. <laughs> Oh my god. Rudo and Ankius, uh, the two swords that Dante's got. Oh, right, switch back. Oh. Ah, oh, Pandora's box. This is seriously the best. Where did you get that outfit? A thrift store? You're one to talk. That color looks terrible on you. Oh, this is so awesome. Trish, wait. Best pay attention. I'll oh, to have gone there. Oh, he's devil triggered. Ah, oh, Madam Butterfly. Don't fuck with a witch. Come on, Dante. Ah, your motto. Oh, yes. No, that's not possible. Oh. What? Oh. oh. Not possible. It is. It is love. Lucifer. Never meet any nice girls. Dante is the winner. Yeah, they even lost their friends. I think. What happened to Trish and John? Are they still fighting? Well, I'll show you how I think it went down in my new show, DBX. DBX. Wait, what? Did, did you actually do analysis on your own? <laughs> Hell no. I'm just gonna make them fight. Ugh, you would. 
In what actually matters, it's true that Bayonetta's satellite throwing feet trumps any and all of Dante's physical displays of strength. However, Dante edges out in every other category. His arsenal matched and exceeded Bayonetta's blow for blow. Hell, even a giant demon like Madame Butterfly is nothing new oh, to this. Oh, Madame Butterfly, I thought it was Madame Butterfly, Butterfly excuse Bayonetta me. didn't have many ways to actually kill him. This has to be one of the best death battles I've ever seen. I knew it was going to be a great matchup. I knew it. Because like I, like, it's like I said at the beginning of the video, they are both very, like, they're both similar. They're different, but they're similar as well. And I just knew this would be a great matchup. I, I'm so glad Dante won because I'm, I'm, I love Dante. I love the character Dante. He's my favourite uh, character from Capcom. Okay. And uh, it was just, but you know what? The fight was, you know what? The fight was so good. This was such an entertaining fight. I don't think it would have bothered me that much if Dante lost. Because it was just such a good fight. You know, even, even if Dante lost, at least he put up like, an excellent fight if he lost. But Bayonetta put up a really good fight as well. She put up an excellent fight against Dante. And uh, it was really nice to see Trish and John seeing, seeing them clash together for a little bit. Uh, they disappeared, but uh, the map, obviously the video is mainly about Dante and Bayonetta. But uh, definitely one of the best death battles I've ever seen. It was absolutely epic, so well animated. Screw Attack, you've done a fantastic job as usual. You guys are amazing for making these videos. I love you guys so much for it. But there's still one thing that I want you guys to make. Thanos, Dark Side. It's gotta happen. Thanos and Dark Side going at it. As far as I know, they haven't done it. I'm pretty sure they haven't done it. But I've got to see that. They've got to do it. But there is, you know what? There is, you know, going back or going back to the fight. There was one thing they didn't use in the fight. Dante using his Sparda form. He didn't have Sparda's sword with him. Trish had the sword. But if, if he had the Sparda sword and the uh, amulet as well, he would have gained the Sparda form that he used to beat Mundus. Now, how much of a chance would Bandit have against that in this fight? Don't know. They didn't use it, so we'll never see. But nonetheless, great video. Loved it, and yeah, once again, Screw Attack, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Anyway, guys, so that was my first reaction video in like a month. It feels good to be back, and yeah, I'm not going away anytime soon. So uh, thank you very much, guys, once again, for welcoming me, welcome, like, welcoming me back, and uh, yeah, good to be back. So thank you very much, guys. I'll see you guys later on the next video. Don't forget to give this video a like and a share. And don't forget to comment. And I'll see you guys later on the next video. Bye.